A little bit unusual for this channel, but I'm gonna be talking about my old job. I used to work as a biochemist for two years. <laughs> I mean, I'm still a biochemist, I'm just between jobs right now. Really, when you hear the word biochemist, you probably have misconceptions about the job. I mean, what can I say? Hollywood has really glamorized my work. When you hear it, you probably think of some handsome rapscallion braving out against the high seas of G25 titration and slaying the dreaded monsters of aggregated proteins that are lacking out in the depths with nothing but his well-worn pipetta, few used magnetic stir bars, and his trusty monkey sidekick, Popo. I mean, if, if someone believed all that, I'm not saying it's not true. It's, it's mostly true. I mean, like 99.9% like .9 true. There are just... <clears throat> Uh, what, one or two things I need to clarify. I don't have a PhD or master's, just a bachelor's. I used to work for Becton Dickinson Biosciences on the manufacturing floor as a conjugation biochemist. I focused on reactions. Our products were dyes, magnetic imaging particles, ELISA, and cytometric beta arrays, which are used by researchers to study blood cell samples and proteins. Well, those materials have to be made by hand through a series of chemical reactions, so that's where I come in. We didn't make just one product. We were sort of like cooks, where we'd receive orders for different things and make up the materials to specifications. I'd review the history of the material, check notes, take some readings, add some chemicals, take some more readings, add some more chemicals, take even more readings, add even more chemicals to eventually finalize the notes and send off the shipment. I think when I went from working in school to working at a company was a huge shock from the different ways they run the lab. In school, they intentionally waste your time, because who gives a shit? An industrial lab, it's go, 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 go. Very tight schedules, very stressful. You want to know how they handled sick time? Me too. The position I held, conjugation manufacturing, was the bottleneck for the entire biochemistry division, which means that if they could get us to work 10% faster, the entire company would make 10% more profits. So they were yelling at us daily to work as fast as possible until something went wrong, and then it turned to, why didn't you slow down earlier, Ben? Like I told you, I know you think you can just blitz through your projects without a care in the world, but it's kind of irresponsible, don't you think? Before I worked as a biochemist, I had gotten nervous sweats twice in my life. Working there the first 10 months or so, I used to get a nervous sweat every single day. Because it takes about 15 hours, 8 on hands, in order to complete one project. They were done over several days, and there are a myriad of ways to fuck it up and have to restart from the beginning. Also, both of my bosses that I had to work with were miserable people, but that's a story for another day. In addition, the materials I was using were quite expensive, sometimes over $10,000 on one project. You might be asking, did you ever fuck up a really expensive project? And I would say, why do you ask questions you know the answer to? All the time. It's like getting a company car totaled every other month. But it wasn't just my fault. God damn it, Popo, you had one job!